guys, welcome to the first one of our series for the uh, next four to eight weeks. We're going to be bringing you back-to-back uh, -back videos all about covering shortboard stuff. But today we're going to concentrate on a few things and that's light wind core skills. So I'm going to give you a few tips that you can go and practice for the weeks and then next week when we look at the carve jibe, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So with the light wind core skills, it's very easy. You just need a sup or, or a big floaty board. The key is not to take a too big a sail, like anything between like a 4.0 if you're small or a 5.0 if you're a little bit bigger. A um, few key things. Right, centre line. No matter how big your board is, the centre line's always the same. So this is where many people make the mistake when they go out on big boards and they try to tack and jibe. They completely get lazy with their feet and forget about the centre line. So always make sure you keep your feet down the centre line. Doesn't matter how wide your board is, it's still going to be the same centre line. Good muscle memory. A um, few things on the sail. Um, Fonzie, thumbs at the top. Now, I want everybody at home to grab your arm like that. Okay, put a little bit of pressure and then just at the same time, just lift your thumb up. Now, what happens is your whole arm relaxes, gives you more energy, more time on the water. Well, when we're sailing, if we sail with our thumbs at the top for most things, you know, if it's a beach start, we can get the sail a bit higher or a water start. From a jive, we can move our hands from wave sailing. Okay, if we got our hands there, we grip too tight and we can't really move our hands up and down the boom. But just putting our thumbs at the top just allows our grip to loosen off a bit and we can slide and guide our hands wherever we want. So, I've got my uh, gorgeous looking Goya kit here. I'm gonna jump up on my simulator. Now, if you do this at home, just make sure when you pop your board down, as you can see, I've used a, a bean bag or a board bag or anything like that, just to protect the bottom of your board. You don't want to be doing it on a stony beach or even on a beach, really, because if a stone's at the bottom, it will just pop straight through your board. So, let's have a quick look. Right, so remember, thumbs at the top. You can see here, I'm gripping, holding my boom quite tight, but just putting my thumbs at the top will just loosen off my grip a little bit. Okay, playing the piano. We want to, when we're sailing, we always want to be able to move our hands up and down the boom. Very, very important. That is tip number one. Tip number two, remember to smile. We're having a good time. It's windsurfing. We're doing it because we love the sport. Okay, we don't have to do this. Okay, it's enjoyable. Smile, pearly whites. Okay, the pivot point. Now, at any point, if you're, you're doing your light wing core skills or if it's really windy and you're struggling, if you lose yourself, if you slide your hand up, towards the mast, okay, there's our pivot point. The sail can completely depower and then gives us full control. Cool, so, thumbs at the top, smile, okay, and pivot point. Keep a nice distance, as you can see with my little bit of a hunch, I've always got a nice distance. I'm not too close to the sail, okay? Now, what do you notice when I'm doing everything here about my arms? They stay straight. Okay, when we're sailing, we pretty much want to sail, not with dead locked out arms, but flexible, the elbows pointing down, but keep it a good distance. Okay, allowing this hunch to happen, allowing my head to roll between my shoulders, gives me more distance. Now tacking later on is a classic, people do this, by just extending our arms and getting a hunch, you can see how much more distance I give myself. So first things first, what we're gonna learn. Okay, my feet are along the centre line, my back foot's along the centre line, my front foot pointing in the direction that I want to go. Doesn't matter how wide your board is, always keep an eye on your feet. So the first thing we're going to do is sail along and we're just going to see if we can find the balance point. Now, actually, if I just put the sail in front of me there, I should just be able to let go of the sail and it should just balance for a split second. Now, when you get that, you can bring it a little bit more into wind and actually, you can actually clap. See if you can do one, two or three or maybe... Okay, there's your balance point. Now, what you'll find is each time when you flip a sail, if it's a duck jibe or a carb jibe, if you bring the sail back up to that balance point, it gives us the control. Okay, and it saves us always falling over the center line to try and reach for the sail. Now, tip two, okay, always bring the sail to you. Never go to the sail. This is a massive mistake that people make. So, for example, we look from when people learn to windsurf, they don't go to the sail because they come off the center line. They always bring the sail, or you always bring the sail to you. Now, whatever it is, if it's, uh, uh, let's have a look at the duck jive, for example, I don't go to the sail. What I do is bring the sail to me, okay? Um, coming out of a carved jive, so when I flip the sail, this is a classic mistake for people. When they flip the sail, the sail drops back, 
and they go to the sail. You can see my weight comes off the center line and I'm gonna probably fall in. Okay, instead of that, what we're gonna do is bring the sail to us and to that balance point. Okay, so we've got our balance point. We know that we're always gonna bring the sail to us and we're never gonna try and go to the sail because we're gonna bring our weight off the center line and probably fall in. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is just sail along, move our hands about, make sure we're having a lovely old time. I'm gonna bring my board off the wind a little bit so I lean the sail forward slightly and then I'm gonna ready to duck the sail. So my back hand goes down the boom. Okay, when I mean my back hand goes down the boom, I'm not on about there. I mean down the boom, okay? Then from here, what I'm gonna do is oversheet the sail. So I'm gonna pull in really hard with my front hand and the sail, I'm gonna oversheet and lean the sail downwind and drop it into the turn. Now from there, the sail is completely neutral because the wind's coming from this way. Now from here, keeping to the original side, I grab the end of the boom. Now why do I grab the end of the boom? I can use it to my advantage and I can use it like a hook. And then from there, okay, I'm gonna ready to grab, my other hand's gonna place right near my harness line. And remember what I just said, bring the sail to me. So as I reach, I bring the sail up and towards me there then put my front hand there and then quickly, like a ninja, place my back hand on the boom. Now the key to clue first sailing, when would I be clue first? Coming out of a carve jibe maybe, a heli tack. Now the key to clue first sailing is having a nice wide grip. Okay, this is where a lot of people struggle for the carve jibe, they come out of their jibes and they're halfway and they can't control the sail because normally your hands are like this and it's very hard to control that power. So having our front hand in normal sailing position, our back hand nice and wide gives us the control. Now from here, just sail a long clue first for a minute. Get used to steering, so if I want to go into wind, the sail goes towards the back. Okay, this one's a little bit trickier, but if I want to go downwind, I lean the sail forward and I push through my front foot, and you can see what happens to my body, it drops back like so. Okay, once you get used to this and the control, you're ready to flip the sail. Now, the way I'm gonna flip the sail is pretty much the way that you should always flip a sail, okay? And that is, my front hand is gonna slide up towards the pivot point, so how I do that, I give it a little bit of a pump, so I bend my elbows down, allows my front hand to slide up. Okay, at the same time, the sail can move back a little bit to depower. Okay, then from there, my front hand's up near the pivot point, I'm gonna send this elbow high, and as I release, as the sail goes back, I go under the original arm. Now, why do I go under? If I go over the top, it will encourage me to stand tall. Now, if I do this in 40 knots of wind, standing tall is not the best thing, okay? It's always much better to windsurfing to always fall back into the water start position than it is to get catapulted over the front. Definitely in waves and definitely if you're racing or, or in any conditions like that, always better to fall onto your bum because you can water start back up. So, remember to always go under the original arm. And then from there, I'm gonna bring the sail to me. So, as the sail drops back, I lean my body weight forward. As I bring the sail forward, I then drop my body weight back. Okay, so let's have a look at that again in real time. So my back hand goes down the boom. I'm gonna pull in hard to kill the power of the sail, so I oversheet in the sail. Extend my front arm, put the sail into the turn. There, the sail goes neutral, I can release. Extend my front arm get to the end of the boom, and then bring the sail towards me, place my hands onto the boom, remember being nice and wide. Now I'm ready to rotate the sail, little pump with my elbows pointing down, slide that front hand forward, then from here I'm gonna send his elbow high, and bring the sail towards me. Okay, get this dialed, and that's gonna help you with a few things. You're gonna get used to ducking the sail, okay, but most importantly, you're gonna get used to holding the sail clue first, and rotating that sail. Now the key to a plane and carve jibe is all about that rig flip. Okay, that slide hand up to the pivot point and get that sail back up to that balance point, point ASAP. Okay, cool, so that's the first one of practice. Look, at first, you're gonna find it tricky. Remember to bear away when you dock the sail to kill the power of the wind, and remember to oversheet the sail and put it into the turn. Now where a lot of people go wrong when they try and duck the sail, they put it into wind first, like so, and all that power takes the sail and it goes woof, normally throwing them out the front door. So if that happens, the key to do anything like this is just to oversheet the sail and put the sail into the turn. So let me show you again. So from there, instead of going that way, I'm gonna oversheet the sail, the sail goes neutral, and it's so much more easier control. Wide grip, 
please look where my backhand is. It's right near that plastic adjustment. Okay, then from there, rotate, away we go. Okay, let's have a look at core skill number two. Okay, so there's three foot movements in windsurfing. We'll cover all of them at some point. There's the tacking that's always the same no matter what board it's on, if it's on a beginner board or a wave board. The carve drive's the same. It's the same foot movement, okay? It doesn't matter if it's on a race board to a wave board. It's the same movement. And there's one more that's the heli tack, and we're gonna have a quick look at that foot movement now. And that's pretty much your three foot movements covered, and we're gonna cover all, four, all three of them over the eight videos. So, what I'm gonna do now is get ourselves into the back window position. I'm gonna do a quick silent demo, and then I'm gonna talk you through it. Okay, let's talk you through it. So what I did there is basically got myself into the back-winded position. Okay, um, I sailed back-winded for a bit long. Oh, well, not then, but I will sail for, you know, a minute or two or a couple hundred meters to get used to the control. And then I'll flip the sail and come out clue first. And then I can flip the sail and sail away. Okay, guys, give yourself a landmark. So give yourself a sense of direction. Um, at the moment, I'm gonna be heading towards TWF Windsurf School. So I'm gonna be that way. And that, I know that's not gonna move. So Try and give yourself a landmark that doesn't move. Nothing like a boat, because of course that's going to be moving. Right, so where people make a mistake from this is they try and turn it into a tack. Even though the footwork's the same as a tack, and kind of the hands are the same as a tack, but we're not actually changing the direction of the board. So, what I'm going to do is sail along. I'm going to, in normal sailing position, I'm going to allow my front hand to slide up. My back hand's going to go up near the harness lines. Then from here, I'm going to be quickly, and I'm going to place my front hand onto the mast, okay? Remember to hunch a little bit. Right, from here, where people make the mistake is they lean the sail towards the back and it goes into a tack. Well, I'm not trying to tack. All I'm gonna do is sail in one direction and I'm just gonna jump the other side. So from here, I bring my back foot up, my front foot comes up and wraps around, and then from here, I release the sail and keeping my arms straight, I reach for the other side of the boom, step up, and go round to the other side. Now look at my hands. Not like this, I'm not close, okay? The key is to keep your hands nice and loose on the boom and keep a good distance. Now, if it all goes wrong and you start to go off downwind, it probably means that your feet are not round the right position, okay? So we just need to make sure those feet go along the center line. You have too much power in the sail if you slide both your hands up towards the pivot point, and that's the mast. Get the sail out of the way and lean it towards the back of the board. What will happen, the board will slightly come into that no-go zone and you can tack out. Okay, and that's probably going to be your most common thing when you first do it. So what will happen is you sail along, okay, front hand, bring the sail around like that. And normally people bring the sail too far forward, it gets too much power. So just step back, get your hands forward, get the sail out of the way and towards the back of the board. And the board will come round up into wind and then we can just sheet in and it's like a fast tack. The next level though is the control. So, how do I control the sail? First of all, let's look at the steering. It's exactly the same. If I want to go downwind, the sail goes forward, my body weight comes back. Okay, and if I want to go upwind, I'd recommend trying first. Okay, the sail goes back, my body weight comes forward. Small movements. So remember your goal point, TWS Windsor School's in front of me. I'm going to keep an eye on my nose and make sure I'm sailing in a straight line. Now, once you get good control of that, we're ready to take it to the next level. Okay, so we can have a look at getting out. We can either step back, put the sail forward and come out like a jibe and the board will jibe round. Or we can, from here, we can lean the sail towards the back. The board will go up into wind and we can turn it into a tack. But if you really want to nail those heli tacks, this is the thing to do. So from here, the sail's going to go forward. I'm going to step back. Now, as the sail goes forward, I allow the boom to slide through my hands. Okay, I'm gonna come out clue first. Remember that key we said with clue first sailing is being wide on the boom. So from here, the sail goes forward, I slide my hands down the boom. My front foot is gonna step back as the sail goes across, and then I'm gonna step forward and then come out clue first. Perfect, now from here I can slide and glide, and bring the sail up and go. A few things to keep an eye out on. It's from here, the reason why I step back, if I step forward and it's windy, what will happen is as I step forward, oh, I get pulled out the front door, and that's why we always recommend stepping back.
Okay guys, so I've given you two cool things to work on for the next week. So go and grab your big sup, get out there and have a go. So if we just have a quick look, we had got the first one covered that's there's for the duck jibe that we'll be covering soon. Okay, clue first sailing, now the key, we're always clue first sailing, you know, wave sailing onshore, coming out of a jibe, anything like that. And again, this slide and glide up towards the pivot point, so that pump, slide up, okay, and always going underneath is a rig flip that we do on pretty much each time that we flip the sail or, or do a rig flip. So anything from a heli tack, carve jibe, most things like that, we will end up doing this. And then we looked at this one, okay, the sailing back winded, that is good for a fast tack. Okay, this is good for a heli tack. It's good for a, a downwind 360 that we're gonna be covering all three of them. The upwind 360 and this movement here is really good for that heli tack. Again, coming out clue first and doing our rig flip. So hopefully those two core skills you go and practice them, get them perfect and perfect and perfect, and then you'll be ready to take your windsurfing to the next level. Peace out.